Hello and welcome to my Viral Loop 2.0 review and demo video. This is Adam from Mecanto Product Reviews. Um, right now we are taking a look at the Viral Loop 2.0 sales page. And uh, just to kind of quickly go through and tell you what this is before I take you into the WordPress theme itself. Um, so first of all, yes, uh, this is a WordPress theme. So the idea behind Viral Loop basically, okay, we mentioned this is a WordPress theme, but it's geared towards Amazon affiliate commissions, membership websites, email list building, viral traffic, and most importantly here, content creation. Now, now here's the thing, um, a lot of us do, you know, almost every internet marketer in some way, shape, or form is going to have affiliate marketing as a primary cent, uh, primary source of income. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Personally, affiliate marketing is all that I do right now. Um, and it's powerful enough for it to be a, uh, you know, in the last year I was able to leave my day job and, and as a full-time affiliate marketer, just doing affiliate marketing, I was able to exceed my earnings from my previous job, which was a desk job that I held down for seven years. Um, and that became possible in my very first year doing affiliate marketing. So it's extremely powerful. Um, and the way I do it obviously is through product reviews. So that, you know, that goes hand in hand with having a lot of content published on my website. And that's great because obviously Google loves to see lots of content and fresh content and things like that. But but let's say you have an Amazon affiliate website, okay? Your website might just consist of a bunch of product listings and not much content. So how are you going to rank? Okay, and, and that's kind of, that's one of the solutions that Viral Loop offers. This WordPress theme, and we're going to kind of test it in this demo and see for ourselves, but this WordPress theme, supposedly what it's going to do for us is help us generate viral content on our website without us having to do much at all. Um, and that will lend itself towards allowing us to rank our websites using this viral loop WordPress theme. All right, so if we come over to my WordPress blog here, this is just a kind of a, a testing blog that, I, that I'll use for um, doing my demos and installing different WordPress themes and plugins. So all that I've done so far, and I want to show you this so you know, you know where we are in the process here. All that I've done so far is I've come into my WordPress dashboard, I've come down to appearance, themes, and then I clicked upload and when you come over here, let's see, and click Upload Theme, you will be prompted to choose your WordPress zip file, WordPress theme zip file, which is right here in my case, viralloop.zip. You choose that, you open it, you upload it, then you activate it. That's as far as I've come. So Viral Loop is the active WordPress theme on my blog right now. And if we come over here to visit site, you will see that here it is. Now there's nothing to see yet. As you can see, I still have the Hello World post. I mean, this is a really a fresh WordPress blog because I wouldn't want to test it any other way. I want to test this from, um, you know, a brand new WordPress blog with nothing on it. So this is what we have so far. Now what we're going to do in this video in order to kind of review and demo it together, um, we're going to come over to this quick start guide which comes with Viral Loop 2.0 and I'm going to go through the setup with you basically. It's not that long, alright, so you can see I'm halfway through here. Um, this, is, this is where we get into uh, 
In fact, it's actually further than halfway. There's just a couple things that it recommends doing before you're kind of on your own with the theme. So I'm going to go through this little, I guess you could even call it a tutorial. I'm going to go through it with you. We're going to set up, we're going to go through these few settings here. Um, and then we'll see where that gets us. All right. And then from there, we will kind of look into Viral Loop 2.0 and see what else it has to offer um, as far as, you know, what it's, what it's advertised to do, which is generate this powerful viral content for us okay so let's go ahead and do that now okay so I'm gonna come over to the quick start guide and kinda start from the beginning after the part where we activate the theme or right, let me make sure actually I don't think I have activated it just yet <clears throat> maybe I have I don't, I don't know let's see um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to pause and activate. So obviously as you can see this is Truly my first time using this um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause so I can type that code in All right, so we have theme has been activated successfully now here you have a link actually to the quick start tutorial which looks like a video which is probably going to be the same thing as the quick start guide um, since we are doing this in a video I'm gonna actually use the guide instead but I just wanted to point that out okay so that is is there for your reference um, and normally I would tend to watch a video instead of going through a, a guide um, but for for our purposes here we're just gonna do it this way <clears throat> Okay, so once the theme is activated, you can proceed to configuration. Um, now, again, these things are not necessary, but I'm doing it because I want to kind of, I, I think normally when you go through the tutorial, it kind of helps you a little better in terms of getting started with the WordPress theme. You kind of familiarize yourself with the theme or plugin in the process. So that's, you know, and also I want to show it to you, so that's kind of why we're doing this. Um, so we're going to go to create a home page. We're going to go to pages, add new. All right, so I'm going to come back over here. Add new, pages, add new. And then we're going to name it home page. And on the right column, we're going to choose the home page template. Alright, so we're going to call this home page. Over here under template, we're going to choose the home page template. Now, these templates are coming with our Viral Loop WordPress theme. So, if you didn't have the WordPress theme, you wouldn't see these here. We're going to choose home page. All right, so let's go ahead and publish that. And then we're gonna go to settings, general, and set our site title and tag. And that's actually something that you would do with any WordPress site. You know, and, and since this is a dummy site, you know, I'm actually not even going to really mess with this. I'm just going to say my website, tagline, welcome to my website. So that that's not even specific to this theme. <clears throat> that's just something you would do in general with a WordPress blog. So we've done that. Now we're going to go to settings, reading and select front page displays static page and then we're going to set the front page as the home page that we just created now this is something you would do basically so down here if by default most wordpress themes are going to show your latest posts on the home page but if you want it to show any other page instead you would click this bubble and this also goes for any WordPress theme not just 
Viral Loop 2.0. And down here you would choose the page. In our case it's called Home Page. That's what we named it. We would choose the page that we want to appear on the home page of our website. So we're going to do that. We're going to click Save Changes. And before we go to the next step, I want to show you now that now that we have changed our home page, when we refresh this browser screen, we're going to see our home page come up instead. Now remember, this is merely a template. All right, so you can see it's a little different now. Still nothing there because we haven't populated it just yet. But we're already kind of changing the layout just a little bit. All right, so let's move forward here. Um, go to Viral Post Categories and create a few categories. This is really just a good way to get started with, with any website in general. Just going to simply call these category one, two, and three. I'm going to do three categories here. And then this one. All right. Now we're going to go to viral loop. Inside the viral loop control panel, manage topics and create three to five conversation starters. <clears throat> okay, now we're getting into what viral loop does. So these are things to get your members sharing content. When they upload a piece of content, it asks them to share it on social media. So this is how you are getting visitors to work for you, essentially. Now, but also suggest new topics so the site grows organically. So here's where Viral Loop works its magic with your visitors. So let's go over there. Um, Viral Loop, manage topics. And it wanted us to create three to five topics here. All right, so here we are. We're going to add a topic. And let's see. Let me think of a few topics that we could add here. So I'm actually a big NFL football fan, so I'm going to put, um, just for the heck of it, let's put a few names of some, of, some popular NFL players right now. Uh, first is one that you've probably heard of, follow the news in the U.S., Colin Kaepernick. Terrible player, but um, he's been a popular news subject this year. So I'm going to put his name in there. We're going to add him. All right, going to add another one. Here's a guy who has been playing well lately, Jay Ajayi. All right, we're going to add him. And then we have... One more, let's see, use Odell Beckham Jr. All right, so we have three popular NFL players added as our topics. And these are right now probably three relatively strong uh, topics of conversation among football fans. So that's why I chose them. All right, so we have three and one of three to five. We added three of them. And it says, if you want to add a slider to your blog, go to plugins and search for the Meta Slider plugin. All right, um, the, so I'm not going to do that, but just for your reference, Viral Loop 2.0 does support the sliders. All right, now you can also add your Amazon ID. Um, Wait, it doesn't tell us where to add that, however. Uh, let's see. I'm sure that's not hard to find. Let's go over to settings. I'm not even sure if those are those are good topics. Now check this out, by the way. Um, I was gonna get to this get to this in a little bit, but 
Look at all these themes that you can choose, and they all look very, very cool and modern. They stand out, very engaging, which is nice. But right now I'm looking for, okay, Amazon Affiliate ID. So I want to plug that in. All right. All right, so I added my Amazon Affiliate ID. I'm not going to click on that because that's going to show all my information. Um, you can also add Amazon native ads and for any every little thing in this theme if you want to know how to do something they have a video tutorial specific to that feature or function so when you click on that a convenient popover comes up does not interrupt what you're doing and if my internet connection allows it there we go video begins to play um, which shows you the exact steps and I actually happened to watch that to get my Amazon affiliate ID a moment ago um, you can add your ad banners here so let's go ahead and see you know I haven't done much with the page yet but let's see what it looks like <clears throat> as you can see um, there's more going on now and of course we can come over to design and let's see let's change change this for fun um, let's do the black and gray it's always a good looking color scheme alright so we're gonna change that just like that we have a new layout activated we're gonna refresh and you can see there I actually kinda like the previous layout a little more to be honest but um Let's try this one out but you know it's also hard to kind of evaluate when there's really nothing on our page yet um, here's another look this one's kind of nice but as you can see we have this big empty space here and I'm, and I'm wondering if that's where the uh, slider normally goes so I'm actually going to add the slider I'm actually trying to come up with a theme that I really like here I could probably do that at the end but I like this first one that we had I think this is it clean green <clears throat> let's see if that was it I actually kinda liked that yeah this is the one so I'm gonna keep it there um, so yeah we had this empty space as you can see I'm logged in because I'm the administrator but um, if you were a visitor, so basically this allows visitors to create their own account and engage with the website. But it's kind of hard to tell any of that right now. So let's go ahead and add some content to it. Let's kind of fill this out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to mention that I'm going to add that slider. Recommended um, to get this uh, meta slider plugin. So we're going to come over here. We're going to search, I guess we're going to search, or should I click, yeah, I guess search Meta Plugin. Was it called Meta Plugin? Or Meta Slider? Meta Slider, actually. My, my bad there. Oops. Slider. That one should come up. There it is. So I'm going to install now. It has really good reviews. Look at that. Five stars out of 347 votes, 700,000 installs. So obviously a lot of people are using this and a lot of people like it. <clears throat> now it's come up, it's going to show up on our toolbar, so we're going to go over there. It says create your first slideshow. All right, so I'm going to do that. Now remember this is actually not part of the viral loop theme, but the viral loop theme supports this slider. So we're going to call this um, so it, it kind of has a place within the theme layout for this slider, if that makes sense. Now, before we move any further here, I think normally, you know, with, with sliders, they um, each slide is going to correlate with a post on your website. Now, since we don't have any posts yet, I'm not going to add the slides, but um, so we're going to come back to this, all right? We want to make the homepage look kind of nice in this demo, but... um. 
With that said, we're going to come back over to Viral Loop. We're going to come back to this tutorial here. And we're going to see, all right, it's going to tell us you can create some posts. We've already done the Amazon thing. So it says go to Viral Loop Viral Post Creator to create some posts. And that's kind of where the tutorial ends. However, it points out that video tutorials are available for each function inside the theme itself. So even though we're going to do this first, this is actually not the only way that we can add posts. Like if you come uh, down here to Cleverbot, which is actually something that I that I plan on going over with you, either in this video or perhaps our next video, depending on uh, how long all of this takes. But there's this Cleverbot thing, which really automates a lot of the functions for you. And if you create new Cleverbot, you can kind of see here. Um, and once again, you know, I'm looking at this. I have no idea how to use it at this time. Um, but that's not a problem at all because like everything else there's a video tutorial for each of these functions and that very very easy uh, seven minute video it's not gonna be overwhelming amount of information it's just step by step you can take action as you watch the video um, so we'll probably cover that we will cover that at some point but I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or the next video so in the meantime come over here to uh, viral post creator now it's going to tell us choose your media type for this viral post so you can do uh, you can do images you can do videos you can do audio um, member submissions which is really cool because this obviously gets your um, uh, you know your visitors to basically add content to your site or you can do products now this is where the affiliate stuff comes into play so let's go ahead and do that since I've actually added my Amazon affiliate information let's let's go ahead and use Amazon and, and see what comes out of that so first it says search for keywords that you would like to build your viral post around so um, PlayStation VR has just come out it's a new gaming console virtual reality gaming console so that's probably hot right now so I'm gonna um, Sorry about this message, it has to do with system resources, um, which has nothing to do with viral loop, by the way. It's just something where my computer is telling me I have a lot going on while I'm recording the screen and whatever. Um, so I'm going to put in PlayStation VR, and we're going to hit search. And then it's going to tell me step two, choose your chosen keyword below to populate. So we have an opportunity to kind of integrate more related keywords to pull products and, and things like that. PlayStation VR games, that's a good one. Uh, launch bundle, that's a good one. Bundle, um, maybe even review, headset. Basically, since we're doing merchandise, we want to select keywords that are related to uh, physical items. All right. GameStop, Best Buy, Games List, I don't know. We have a good amount of keywords already. Best PlayStation VR games, that could work. All PlayStation VR games. Um, that could be good. I think that's good enough for now. So we're going to hit Next, and this is all step-by-step. Step. All right, so choose from the search results below or add your own entry. All right, now here's here's a good example of why we do this demo and review together. Um, this is obviously not a good look. We see broken images. Um, we're not getting the preview here, basically. We're, there's results coming up, two pages to be exact, which is good, but we can't see what they are. So here's the thing. Um, I'm reviewing this prior to the actual release of viral loop 2.0 so this is something that I'm gonna make note of and bring to the developers attention I trust they will fix it and by the time this is released to the public you will not be having this same issue you will see the results here because affiliates like me point them out to the vendor with that said um, I am going to make note of this and if this issue is resolved I will fix it or I'm, I'll make note of it right here in this video 
Okay, quick timeout. I just want to kind of show you, in light of the, the, the issue we just encountered, this is Cindy Donovan, the vendor. Uh, as you can see that she is on my Skype list, and we have been in discussion as I am one of her affiliates. Okay, so, you know, just to kind of show you, these are honest vendors, and they are very intent on releasing their product in the best quality. Uh, when she when she passed the review copy over to me, she she let me know when you have something built, can you please show me or sorry, could you show me and tell me what you thought of the theme? So obviously this is something that is important to the vendors. I just replied now and basically let her know that I have encountered what I would say is a pretty significant bug. So she and I will be in discussion and you know, Obviously, this lets me know that they are very intent on getting these little bugs ironed out by the time it is released to you. So in the meantime, let's kind of move forward. Um, we're going to go back to the viral post creator. And instead, we're going to create a video post. All right, until the product thing gets ironed out, we're going to try the video. All right, so let's actually go ahead and, and stay with the same keyword and same niche we're gonna do PlayStation VR here once again these are for videos now so we're gonna click search just like last time again this is my computer talking to me don't worry about that um, and again we're going to select keywords PlayStation VR uh, these are videos now so so we might select slightly different keywords all right um, uh, games would be a good one uh, we could do uh, what else we want stuff that are like related to the games basically maybe GameStop, Best Buy, Demo that's a good one games again anything related to games and demos are good new PlayStation VR um, VR for PlayStation so here's a good group of keywords so now we're gonna click next and we're gonna see some actual pre. So this is what we wanted to see with um, when we were looking for products. Basically, this is um, soon. You know, we wanted to see this, right? We wanted to see these little previews and descriptions of each of the results. And as you can see, we have a nice three-page group of videos to choose from, and we can easily create these viral posts from the videos. All we have to do is click on which posts we want to, which videos we want to include in our post. And so here's the best games in VR, that's a good one. Um, PlayStation VR demo, there's another one. What else do we have here? Trying out the new PlayStation VR and 14 upcoming games. So we have four videos. All right, I think that's a good number of videos to have in one post. So we're gonna we've selected four of them. Now we're gonna click next, and this is how easy it is to build our viral post. So now we can customize it, right? So for each one, we can give it a new title, we can give it a new description, we can add to the description, we can keep the same description. Uh, we can format it. We could do any number of things. You can add call to actions within the, desc the description, whatever you want to do. All right, but for this purpose, you know, since we're doing a demo, um, I don't want to spend too much time on that aspect of the post editing. So we're just going to leave the default values and click next, just so I can show you how this gets published to our website. Now, as you remember, at the very beginning, we created categories, and we just named them very generic, uh, generic category 1, 2, and 3. Uh, maybe I should have given it better names now that we're doing PlayStation, but we're going to go ahead and put these in category 1. Um, and then it says, click below to choose your viral post tags. All right, so once again, we're going to choose keywords and tags. Um, and I think that's, oops, those two are the same. So I'm going to get rid of one of those PlayStation VR. So we have, um, there we go. Um, 
So we're gonna do three tags, PlayStation VR games. Actually, best PlayStation VR games, PlayStation VR. We're just gonna have those two. And then we're gonna click next. And then it's gonna say, create a catchy name for your viral post. And this is important because you want your post to be engaging. It's tr You're trying to go viral. So that the title is important. Um, um, so, you know, uh, I'm not going to come up with anything too brilliant right here in the middle of the demo. I'm just going to say brand new PlayStation VR. We're going to click submit. And that's going to be our first viral post. And you can share it. Congratulations. Okay. All right. So So that's what you could do. And you can create all kinds of different viral posts. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go offline and, and create a few more posts like that, just to kind of fill out the homepage and show it, show it to you. It would be very repetitive if I just, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if I just kind of went in and and, and did this for you again and again and again, the same process. But I do want to give you a good idea of how the home page looks, and then maybe we can fill out the slider as well and kind of get, get a good visual of Viral Loop 2.0 as a WordPress theme. So um, let's do that. All right, so I've just got done publishing my fifth post to Viral Loop 2.0. Uh, three were video posts, two were image posts. If you want to see what I mean, come over here. You can do images, videos, audio, member submissions, products. Let's actually do one member submission as well just to see what that is. All right, and, and by the way, these were all completely unrelated. Um, so you can do them and select the okay. So I guess this basically works based on your existing posts as far as the member thing <clears throat> so we can come down to uh, PlayStation VR demo grab any of these really um, let's get our PlayStation VR stuff all right for example or and then click next and just to kind of see what this is all about all right, click next. Category will be category one. I'll choose two of our tags here. And a catchy name. Um, let's say share your thoughts. PlayStation VR, share your thoughts. Or what do you think? You think. All right, we're going to submit that. Now we have six posts. All right, so we're going to come over here. This was our old page, right? And we still haven't added the slider yet. Maybe we should do that next, actually. Let's see if we can uh, integrate our slider before we um, refresh our home page and see what we have. Um, so we come down to theme customization, uh, layout. You can you see you can change the layout there. You can add a logo, which we don't have yet. Then we have the slider. The so display slider is on. Um, you can select a category to display on slider, category one. So if I put it on one, and then you can select a category that will display on the home page. We might come back to that. And so you have a lot of customization options basically. But for now, we want to see if that brings the slider up and what else what else changes on our home page here. So I'm going to click reload. Okay, as you can see, I have some more things going on here. This part's still empty. Now it's still loading. 
has our latest post on the left side here. These aren't going to be black, don't worry. There, they, there we go. So, and there's our slider, so that's really cool. So as you can see, um, this automatically adds posts. Now I only have one post in that category right now, and this would normally be our logo if we had one. Um, but as you can see, that this is where your users can kind of um, uh, engage with the website. And today, you know, it's, it's very important to have that engagement because that's where we are moving towards. Um, so that that's kind of the point of this entire theme. All right. So as we continue to create posts for our website, this will fill out even more. But for now, I, hopefully this kind of shows you where it's going. So let's go ahead and click on one of our, well, that's an actual video. So let's go ahead and try to pull up one of these posts. All right, PlayStation VR, what do you think? That's the member post that we created together, the last one we did. Now I don't have an uh, icon for myself yet, so it's showing the default. But uh, as you can see here, this is our post. All right, so we have that. Um, this is an image post here. I did Hillary Clinton. So I have a couple images there of her. Um, we have a video post here. As soon as that loads, we'll have the. All right, JI runs wild. And these basically, it's lending itself to encourage your visitors to share these posts. Okay, so we've been going for about half an hour now, so I'm gonna end it there. Um, in, in our next video, we're going to wait for our response from the vendor, Cindy, regarding um, obviously one of the things a lot of you guys want out of Viral Loop 2.0 is, is the affiliate function. So that's very important. We want to make sure that's working and we want to see what it looks like. Uh, the other thing is um, one of the big automa automation functions of Viral Loop 2.0 is of course the clever bot. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look at that in the next video as well. So, um, so stay tuned for that. I'll link it to this video when it is available. And in the meantime, that was our introduction to Viral Loop 2.0. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. Um, I hope you could appreciate the honest approach that we had. Um, I'm just trying to show you this theme for what it is, I'm not trying to hide anything at all. Um, try to show you the pros, the cons, everything. So you can make a real good decision um, as far as whether this will actually help you with your online business or not. Um, and if you think it does, I do have a link to it below in the description. Um, it is, a, it's going to be a discount. It's going to be the best discount you can find online. I can guarantee you that. <clears throat> and it'll also come with my own bonuses, my own exclusive bonuses. When you check out at JVZoo, all right, you're going to, since you're checking out through my link, they're going to also send you my free bonus. I believe there are about 30 of them. All of my bonuses were released this year. Very helpful stuff. Um, so uh, that's about it. And I will hopefully see you in the next video.